Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for February 18th. We're looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. We are expecting this pair to move as high as 94.76 and as low as 91.00. Look for some resistance around 94.13 and look for support to hit around 93.32. This particular pair is moving higher. The bias is to the upside currently. Now switching over to the Euro USD pair, this particular pair we're expecting to move as high as 1.2768 and as low as 1.2378. Now this particular pair uh, is, moving, is moving lower. The bias is to the downside. Look for some resistance around 125.62 and look for support around 12500. Now, if you noticed, our overextended bar did uh, hit and did go through, uh, grabbing that 20 pips right there. Switching uh, to the pound US, US dollar, this particular pair, we're expecting it to move as high as 144.54 and as low as 138.83. Look for some resistance around 143.18 and look for support around 141.35. Now this particular pair is moving sideways. The bias is to the downside, but uh, overall it's just been tracking sideways uh, during this past week. Switching to the US Swiss, this particular pair has a uh, has moved higher today, closed higher. Uh, the bias, it's moving sideways, but the bias is definitely to the upside. We're looking at it going as high as 119.25, potentially as low as 115.49. Look for resistance around 11800 and look for support around 117.44 in this particular pair. Now what I'm looking at uh, during this next session, well first let's take a look at our pound uh, Swiss trade that we had on from yesterday. This particular pair, uh, our, 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 uh, our price was hit and the, the, this particular pair pushed higher giving us the 100 pips um, between our breakout and our take profit. Uh, interestingly enough, it only went probably another 10 pips to the high before pulling back. Now looking ahead, uh, looking at the US Canadian dollar, this particular pair formed an inside bar during uh, this past session. We have a higher high and a higher low, um, or lower low. And what I'm looking for is to buy at 126.75 and to exit at 127.40, which gives us 65 pips. Uh, basically, if you back out, you can see where I'm getting that from as far as our exit. Basically looking for it to, to hit this, this session's high right here. Now, switching over to uh, the other pair that I'm looking at is the Euro Australian dollar. This pair created an inside bar as well. Uh, you can look to take it to the upside or the downside, a breakout in either direction. I'm personally looking for it to go lower at 195.45. Looking to exit this particular trade at 194.45. And that's basically 100 pips lower. So hopefully the market will move lower and we'll be able to go ahead and tag this low and pull our 100 pips out of the market. Uh, in that move. If you do take it to the upside, I haven't really looked at it too much uh, because I'm looking for it to go, sh go to the downside, but if you do take it uh, long, look for it to move potentially up to the, uh, you know, the, the 2000 mark would be a, a good target. The uh, 9941 area would be a good target as well. Well, that about does it for, uh, for today. Uh, until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.